This is part four of CSS creating a three column layout and in this one we're going to be working on styling our vertical navigation. A quick review of what we're working towards in this series of videos. We're working on creating this three column layout with vertical and horizontal menu systems. This is where we left the code at the end of step three. So in this video we're going to work on the vertical navigation system. Within our HTML, that area is right here, designated with a special ID of vertical navigation. Let's go up and start working on the style. So again, we're going to start with working with our list items within our unordered list. And we're going to start with list style of none. We're going to give it a width for that vertical navigation of 150 pixels. We're going to give it a margin of 10 pixels all the way around, top right, bottom left. Now we're going to give padding to our list items of 0 pixels to the top, 15 pixels to the right, 0 to the bottom, and 0 to the left. So now that we've defined our list items of 150, let's go up and do some with the actual navigation area. And we're going to give it the same width of 150 pixels. We're going to float this to the left. It's going to make sure that it's up against the left hand side of our container, minus of course the the padding that we gave it in the container. We're going to give it a margin of 0 pixels to the top, 25 pixels to the right side, 0 pixels to the bottom, and 0 pixels to the left. We're going to also change our background color, make it the same as our horizontal navigation. Background color of hashtag BFA567 and that'll take care of doing the style for the whole unordered list. So we want to make some changes again to our style of our links and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say display block. We're going to take away the link for the underscore under links anchors text decoration none and we're going to make the color of our links white. The last thing that we want to do is we want to change the hover color of our vertical navigation. So we've already got that typed out up here. I'm going to copy this, paste it down for that and saved it so let's go ahead and run this in Firefox. Take a look at what we get. Okay, we have our previously done code. We now have our vertical navigation completed. Notice that one of the reasons I put a display block on the LI was so that when someone's all the way out here on our navigation, it will work as an anchor. Thanks for watching. The next video will be completing the layout of our last two columns and our footer.